Hey boys, it's Harmnan. Today we're going to be customizing the brand new Tundra Panther that just got added into Grand Theft Auto Online. Very excited about this car. Let's go ahead and hop inside and see what we can do to this thing. Starting off with the armor, we're going to go all the way up on this. The brakes all the way up as well, obviously. For the bumpers, we do have front bumpers and a rear diffuser. So let's go ahead and just scroll through these options and see which one we are liking the best. Um, so far, there's some pretty aggressive stuff you can do to this thing. I'm kind of thinking of maybe going for like sort of a race build with it. Um, I just don't know exactly what we're going to be able to do. Uh, let's go for the carbon street splitter to start things off. For the rear diffuser, uh, we have quite a few options by the looks of things, and some of them are pretty aggressive. I do kind of like the look of the of the carbon competition diffuser let's go for that one for the engine we're going to go all the way up on that for the exhaust we have the rounded exhaust rounded titanium Ooh, that looks really good uh the double exhaust performance double exhaust titanium performance double exhausts the gt exhausts the titanium gt and the classic square titanium gt looks crazy let's do that one for the grill we have the chrome race car grill okay cool carbon race car grill as well secondary we also have the chrome sports the carbon sports and secondary sports as well as the chrome gt carbon gt and the secondary gt let's go for the carbon gt that looks amazing i love the look of that we have the red latch hood pins blue latch gold latch and chrome hood catches we also have the secondary hood the carbon hood as well as the vented hood we have secondary and carbon for the vented as well We've got the street hood in carbon and secondary have the race vented hood in carbon and secondary as well the performance hood in carbon and secondary the gt hood that's really weird is that an exhaust pipe it almost feels like it is i think that that might be an exhaust pipe uh the racer gt hood in secondary and carbon as well um overall i think that i kind of like the look of the street hood However, I also like the look of the performance hood. I think we're going to go performance. I like that just a little bit better. For the interior, we can change the seats on this thing, which also adds a roll cage into the car. So uh, let's go for maybe, let's just go for racing seats. I don't really want the roll cage, I don't think. So we'll leave that alone for right now. For the lights, we are going to go xenon. For the livery on this thing, we have white stripes. We have stripes color. That's kind of a cool livery actually that's like pretty pretty like tame pretty like basic looking but i like it we also have the tundra livery the tri-color as well the white pinstripe livery the sketched speed livery the racer two-tone that's really interesting looking We've got the camo livery the bulco racer the gto racer and back to none i'm almost tempted to go for the stripes color i really like the look of that livery let's actually do that for the louvers we can add these onto the car um not a big fan of how the louvers look if we're gonna go for any there it's gonna be the uh the carbon uh, tuner louvers but i don't really love the look so we're gonna leave it alone for the plate yellow on black absolutely for the respray of the car i think it does look good in the uh, in the white however i'm thinking about going for something maybe a little more tame and then using this as kind of an accent color so um i'm just not sure what color i want to go for necessarily i almost liked silver I feel like the silver looks pretty, pretty good. Maybe bluish silver though, or even rolled steel. I feel like rolled steel, you can see the, see the livery color nicely. Let's go for, let's go for rolled steel. The secondary color, what does this do? Is it the, it is the calipers. Kind of had a feeling it was going to be. Uh, do we want to go for some, maybe some Torino red calipers? Or we could go for, I feel like this car needs some blue on it maybe. What if we go for some ultra blue calipers i feel like that looks pretty good actually let's go for that for the roof on this car we can have the shark fin the primary gt roof so basically it keeps the shark fin and it makes it an inset roof oh we can do the secondary color roof as well that's interesting looking I'm definitely not doing that but uh it, it is a possibility we do have the carbon roof which i like um well we can make the whole roof carbon Ooh. That's kind of sick looking, honestly. Kind of... I don't know if I like it better in all carbon or just kind of the middle is carbon. I feel like it looks kind of weird. I feel like it's a weird shape. Hmm, that's interesting. Okay. Oh, we got the sunroof. Oh, wow. We can have the carbon sunroof. Oh, that's crazy. I really like the look of that. Let's go for the carbon sunroof. I don't even, I don't even care about these other options. That just looks so good in my opinion. So let's do that. Uh, for the skirts, we got quite a few different options here for this vehicle. 
Um, I like the secondary color like integration into the car. I think that it's like really well done. I do kind of like the carbon performance skirts, I won't lie. Uh, the carbon race skirts aren't too bad either. Um, even the carbon XL skirts are pretty good. I think I want to go carbon XL, honestly. Uh, let's, let's go for those. For the sunstrip, we can add one. I'm not going to do it though. I don't really love sunstrips, so let's leave it alone. The spoilers. Starting off big, we have the carbon street spoiler, the carbon commando spoiler, carbon performance, carbon sports GT wing, the street GT wing, the low level GT wing, the high level GT wing, the exclusive carbon and the exclusive secondary. I love the look of this wing. That is super unique. I think that that's, oh, it is the Panther exclusive carbon. That's an exclusive spoiler to this car. Let's go ahead and add that on. I like the look of that. For the suspension, we are going to slam this thing all the way down, I think. Looks pretty good. Race transmission, of course, turbo tuning as well. I love the stock wheels on this thing. I think those look so good. Um, I am in the process of trying to unlock some of these uh, some of these track wheels. And uh, once I do, I would love to put some of these on this car. I think for right now, though, I want to go for my favorite rims, which are the concave mega mesh. Maybe we go for the mercy concave, though. I feel like the mercy concave could look good. They do look pretty good. Honestly, the stock rims are so fire, though. I really like the stock rims. Um, maybe with all the carbon that we have, though, we go for the cheetah carbons. Oh, yeah, that looks super aggressive. I I think that that's what I'm going to go for. That looks super good. Let's do it. Uh, for the color, let's just do black, I think. Uh, for the tires, we are going to go bulletproof, of course. And for the windows, let's tint them all the way out. This thing is looking super mean. I love the look of this car. Let's bring it down to the ground. We're going to do a sound test and, of course, a full review on the car as well. All right, let's uh, let's take a listen here. It sounds decent, nothing too special. The interior is quite basic. The dials are nice, but other than that, it's uh, it's pretty basic looking in here. Do you like that sunroof though? That is pretty cool. Overall, I love the look of this car, and so far the performance actually feels like it's pretty good. I feel like this car might be a little on the slow side for the sports category, um, but maybe I'm speaking a little bit too soon. It is definitely picking up some speed here. Um, I'm interested to see what the handling is going to be like. Uh, the sound of it is not nothing like too special honestly so that's kind of disappointing but uh it, it doesn't sound bad um let me get that uh out there it doesn't sound bad it's just not really unique or anything like that so uh nothing too crazy but i'm interested to see how this vehicle actually handles um in these corners so let's let's find out about that oh there is a cyclist though got him yeah there we go okay we ejected him things are going well um so far it feels like this thing definitely likes to oversteer darn we let one get away oh man rough um yeah it, it feels like it likes to uh like it like it wants to oversteer quite a bit and oh, what oh okay well maybe that was just driver error but uh it definitely feels light and like it doesn't have a lot of downforce so that's kind of unfortunate um let's see how it does around this corner at full speed oh you know what not terrible not terrible it could definitely use some more traction though um, i'm wondering if putting a neon kit on this thing would have uh, would have done that for me um it would have lowered the center of gravity a little bit which honestly the the center of gravity on this car it feels a little bit almost top heavy i want to say um i don't think it's a terrible car but it's definitely not the best uh handling car i've ever driven that's for sure a lot of this car's customization actually as well as the handling really reminds me of the fister growler um i'm not sure if that is intentional or if this was maybe a car that was supposed to come out with the tuners dlc that was scrapped or something uh, but it definitely feels very similar to the fister growler in my opinion so that is um kind of good but kind of 
of bad. I love the Growler, but it's just not that great of a performer. Um, so that's a little unfortunate. Um, I don't dislike this car, but I also don't like the performance of it either. Uh, the acceleration is pretty good, but the handling is it's not it's not quite there. Um, and it, it needs a little more downforce, a little more traction. Um, but then you know it would be pretty good. I feel like so uh, if this thing just had a little bit more traction, it would be you know uh, just that much better. But um, you know what? I think it's a decent car, but for two point two million dollars. I just I don't think that I, it's a car that I can really recommend that you pick up. It's definitely cool, but uh, performance wise, definitely not worth the money. There's way better cars you could get. Um, but you know, if you guys are interested in a new DLC vehicle and trying it for yourselves, I would say absolutely go for it. Um, you should try this thing out. So if you got a lot of money, buy it. If you don't have a lot of money, I'd say skip it for right now. Um, Overall, decent car, just not quite the best. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, a like is, of course, appreciated. If not, dislike. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new, and I will see you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Peace.